Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. You know one of the worst things that can happen to your 3D resin printer besides failed prints? And that's resin leakage. You get one of these that have a small pinhole in it, or let's say a larger hole, and it ends up leaking on your LCD. Best case scenario, it's going to leak on top and you can just wipe it off with a little IPA. No big deal. If this dude leaks a lot, it may leak around the edges of the LCD down into the machine, causing you a lot of heartache and a lot of cleanup. In fact, a lot of hazardous cleanup. You don't want to do that. So what a lot of us have done, and some of the resin uh, printer manufacturers have have mentioned, is to take some tape. A lot of us have taken um, Kapton tape, which is a, a very thin tape that you normally see around hot ends for FDM printers. Uh, a lot of people have used electrical tape, and that's fine, but the problem with electrical tape is it's thick, it's gummy, and it, you know, it just doesn't look nice. Well, a friend of mine by the name of Christopher Lannon has come up with an interesting idea. And this is basically a what looks to be a vinyl material. I've measured it with my calipers over here. It's 0.1 millimeters thick. And what you do with this is you take the paper backing off and you place it around your LCD. And what this does is it keeps any leaks from getting down into your motherboard in case you have a leak. As you can see on my LED Mars, I have placed one around the LCD. It fits really nicely. And what I really like about these gasket, I guess you'd call them gaskets. Um, what I like about these LCD gaskets is the fact that they're not super, super sticky. You can see in my installation video, I'm kind of all thumbs trying to get this on there, trying to install it. but. You know what? It's no big deal. It's not a gummy sticky adhesive, so you can peel it off and place it back on and it doesn't seem to lose any of, the, of its adhesive qualities, which I really like this. What you'll do is you'll get a three pack of these. What I love about these things is they fit on just about every resin printer. In fact, they do fit on every resin printer I own currently. So this will fit on your Anycubic Photon if you have a Photon S. It fits on the new Chitty Tech. Shadow 5.5S that I reviewed a couple days ago. It fits on your Elu Mars. I really like these. Again, and it looks really nice. One thing that you'll have to do is after you get this installed on your resin printer, you'll have to go back in and re-level it, which is no big deal, especially for the Elu Mars because it's just a matter of loosening two bolts and pressing home and leveling the straighten the build plate out, tighten two bolts, boom, you're done. Any cubic photon, same thing. You'll just have to re-level uh, re -level the bed after you apply this. I really like this uh, just because not only does it look nice, but you have an even set of adhesive all the way around. You get three of these in the pack. You just peel it off, stick it on, and I burnished it down with a little bit of, um, I actually burnished it down a little bit with my uh, microfiber cloth and I actually, I actually cleaned it and I'll show you the video here that I used or my installation video when I'm all thumbs here putting it on and as you can see I screwed up a couple times but you know no big deal it goes on it looks like it's made out of real high quality vinyl uh, like a rubberized vinyl material so yeah I love these LCD gaskets for your resin printer your Elgood Mars or your Anycubic Photon. I want to thank Mr. Christopher Landon for sending these out to me to review. And yeah, I'm going to continue to use them. And again, you know, once they wear out, which I don't really see them wearing out. I mean, as far as wear and tear is concerned, but comes off really easy. And another thing, it's going to protect your screen from getting ripped out of the machine, especially on some of the older photons that use an adhesive that keeps the screen uh, in that keeps the LCD screen into the opening. A, lo a lot of times that adhesive will uh, degrade and you'll, your, your vat will be stuck in the, uh, your vat will be stuck to the LCD and you'll get excited to pull your vat out and it'll end up pulling that LCD screen off and you'll just have a bad day for the rest of the day. So you don't want to do that. This is going to prevent that. So I will put links in the description below to purchase these. 
Now without further ado, let's look at the installation video. Okay, now I'm spraying a little bit of my Sprayway glass cleaner on my microfiber cloth. And what you'll want to do is make sure that you get the LCD screen in any of the surrounding area uh, really nice and clean. Here I have my gasket and I'm peeling it off here. I'm starting at the top corner and just kind of making sure it's even all the way around. And again, you can see I'm kind of all thumbs here and kind of pulling up some in the area. But uh, again, this adhesive is very forgiving. It's not going to stick and not let go. So you can see I'm kind of working my way around the edge, making sure there's no wrinkles. And then going on one side and then the next. And then finally finishing up around the edge. So I'm trying to... Uh, to burnish a little bit with my fingers, just making sure that everything is nice and straight and trying not to touch the LCD. I'll again uh, take my microfiber cloth and go back over it again one more time just to make sure that the uh, screen is nice and clean and the edges are burnished down so that way nothing gets um, inside of the uh, compartment there. So that's about it. Let me give you a close up view of what it looks like here change the camera angle around you can see it's really it looks really nice and again it's going to keep all of those nasty fluids out of the inside of your machine hey guys once again thanks for joining us here on 3d print farm next time we're going to be talking about the elegoo water washable resin so i'm going to find a really cool print probably something from my friends over at cast and play and we're going to pick out one of their models one of their newer models and print it with the new water washable, water washable resin from Elgu. So, again guys, hope to see you again soon on 3D Print Farm.